you think when you see a typical farm? Rolling fields, tractors, maybe a red barn? What if I told you that the world's most advanced farm looks more like a NASA mission control center than anything you'd recognize? Hidden in the Netherlands sits a $50 million agricultural facility where not a single human hand touches the crops, where artificial intelligence makes 10,000 growing decisions per second, and where computers control literally every aspect of production, from seed to harvest. Join me as we step inside this agricultural revolution that's producing 20 times more food per square foot than traditional farming while using 90% less water. Most people think farming means soil, sun, and human labor. But what they don't realize is that we've entered an era where algorithms have replaced intuition, where sensors monitor every molecule of air, and where robots work in climate-controlled environments that would make a pharmaceutical lab jealous. I gained exclusive access to this smart farm, a gleaming facility that stretches across 40 acres of glass towers, each one a perfect ecosystem controlled by supercomputers. These aren't greenhouses, they're agricultural factories. The facility houses 50,000 sensors monitoring everything from soil pH to the exact wavelength of LED lights bathing each plant. Robotic arms move through the rows with millimeter precision, while drones equipped with hyperspectral cameras can detect plant stress invisible to human eyes. The economics are mind-blowing. This single facility produces 2.5 million pounds of vegetables annually, the road equivalent of a 400-acre traditional farm while using just 40 acres and 90% less water. But here's where it gets truly extraordinary. What happens when these systems push the boundaries of what we thought was possible in agriculture? In the most advanced sections of this facility, I witnessed something that defies everything we know about growing food. Here, plants grow in complete darkness, fed by LED arrays that emit precise light recipes calculated by artificial intelligence. The environment is so controlled that the atmospheric composition is monitored and adjusted every 30 seconds. Oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, even trace gases measured to parts per million. The stakes are incredible. A single computer malfunction could destroy $100,000 worth of crops in hours. The facility operates on razor-thin margins where every watt of electricity, every drop of nutrient solution, every breath of CO2 is calculated to maximize yield. I watched technicians in hazmat suits entering sterile, growing chambers where the slightest contamination could trigger a complete section shutdown. The most extreme experiment involves growing crops in atmospheric conditions that simulate Mars, reduced pressure, altered gas composition, extreme temperature variations. These aren't just plants. They're test subjects in humanity's quest to feed future space colonies. When systems this sophisticated operate at the edge of possibility, they're not just growing food. They're growing the future of human survival beyond Earth thousands of miles away. In the ancient terraced fields of Peru, where indigenous communities have cultivated potatoes for over 8,000 years, I discovered wisdom that even the most advanced AI struggles to replicate. Here, Quechua farmers like Carlos, Mamani use knowledge passed down through 300 generations to grow over 600 varieties of potatoes in conditions that would crash any computer system. Turono showed me techniques that seem almost mystical, 
reading weather patterns in cloud formations, determining soil health by the smell of morning dew, selecting seed varieties based on lunar cycles. His weathered hands can assess 17 different soil conditions just by touch, knowledge that researchers have spent millions trying to digitize without success. These farmers work at altitudes of 12,000 feet, where temperature swings of 40 degrees are common and where traditional farming, wisdom means survival. There, methods feed families and local markets while maintaining genetic diversity that modern agriculture desperately needs. Seeds from these ancient varieties now sell for $200 per pound to research facilities seeking traits that could revolutionize global food security. Their traditional knowledge isn't just cultural heritage, it's biological treasure worth millions in modern agricultural development. But there's an even more exclusive tier of smart farming that caters to the world's most demanding markets. In Japan's ultra-premium indoor farms, Computers craft vegetables so perfect they're considered works of art. These facilities produce what the Japanese call vegetable jewels, produced so flawless it sells. For prices that would shock most farmers, I witnessed the creation of square watermelons, each one grown in custom molds and priced at $200. Purple lettuce cultivated under specific light spectrums that enhance both color and flavor selling for $50 per head to Michelin-starred restaurants. The crown jewel is the Densuka watermelon, black-skinned fruit that can auction for $6,000 each, grown in facilities where every variable is controlled to create absolute perfection. These luxury farms use AI systems that cost more than most people's homes, monitoring individual fruits with dedicated sensors. Each plant receives a customized growing program, unique light recipes, precise nutrient blends, even specific air circulation patterns. The result isn't just food. It's agricultural haute couture that commands prices higher than precious metals per pound. Yet this technological revolution faces its greatest test, feeding 9 billion people while healing a damaged planet. Climate change is making traditional farming increasingly impossible, with extreme weather destroying crops worldwide. Smart farms are responding with innovations that seemed like fantasy just a decade ago. Vertical growing systems that stack 40 layers high molecular farming that produces pharmaceuticals in lettuce leaves, and AI systems that can predict and prevent crop diseases weeks before symptoms appear. The newest facilities achieve net negative carbon footprints, actually removing more CO2 from the atmosphere than they produce. Solar panels and wind turbines power closed loop systems that recycle every drop of water, every nutrient molecule. Some farms are even experimenting with growing food in abandoned urban buildings, turning city centers into food production hubs. But the crucial question remains, can technology scale fast enough to meet humanity's needs? The answer lies in combining digital precision with natural wisdom, creating farming systems that honor both innovation and the ancient relationship between humans and the land. So the next time you bite into a perfect tomato or crisp lettuce, Remember the incredible technology and timeless wisdom that brought it to your plate. Whether grown by $50 million supercomputers or by hands that carry centuries of knowledge, that food represents humanity's greatest challenge and our most promising solutions. From Mars simulation chambers to ancient Andean terraces, from luxury vegetable jewels to subsistence farming wisdom, Agriculture shows us that our future depends on embracing both cutting-edge innovation and ancestral knowledge. These stories remind us that feeding the world isn't just about technology. It's about respecting the profound relationship between human ingenuity and the natural systems that sustain us. What other industries do you think are being revolutionized by smart technology in ways we never imagined? Comment below and subscribe for more stories that reveal the extraordinary future being built today.